Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan for Make Love Bear Self Learning Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to create such parametric table wall. The parametric means here the model or the element whose parameters and the dimensions can be changed or altered later without disturbing other model components in the project. Well, such tapered walls are basically used in the retaining walls, in the dams, and in the boundary walls of the jails. So in this model, we'll be considering the bottom thickness for the wall, the overall height, the top thickness, thickness, or any of the angle for the, any of the two faces of the wall. So let's begin with that. We're starting with the free CAD and the new file from here and going to the sketch of workbench. So from here, we'll create a new sketch. Let the working plane be XZ because we'll be making the profile from the front view, the front cross section. I'll select the boil line option here. So we'll make a rough profile for the wall without considering any vertical constraint during the modeling. I just simply join them. Make sure the points lie on the x-axis. Now we have some redundancy here. Simply click and delete. Now we can set the symmetricity of these two endpoints for the bottom thickness of the wall with respect to the z-axis from the symmetry constraint. Now select the bottom thickness for the wall. Let it be 250 mm and name it as bottom thickness. Now, let's set the top thickness for the wall. You need not to set this metric constraint for the top thickness. Let it be for sufficient for the bottom thickness only. Now, we selected this line and set the horizontal constraint. Let it be 150 mm and name it as top thickness. Now we can set the overall height by selecting the two endpoints in the longitudinal direction and set the vertical constraint, the fixed distance, let it be around 3 meters and name it as height. Now we have one degree of left. So what we can do is either we can set the angle for any of the lines. So what we will prefer here is we can set any one of the line as straight because in the construction mostly only one side is taper and the other is straight. You can make both of them with the angle as per your references. So as per now we're making the one side as straight by simply selecting it. And here we have set the vertical constraint. So you see, we have a green sketch here. The sketch is fully constrained. Click OK. So now you can see we got a tapered profile here. What now we can do is move to the part workbench, selecting the sketch, and now going to the extrude option, considering the custom direction and making the direction cosine in the positive one direction, in the positive y. Let the length around be four meters, let it be six meters. Make sure it is great solid. Now click OK. So you see we have a basic extrusion of the wall. So now what next we can do is click the extrude, move to arc workbench and create a wall object. Now this is a wall. We can set it roll also to the wall. So you can see here we have a fully constructed tapered wall here. So now as I said it is parametric. But now we can do from the tree view, expand the wall, extrude and the sketch. In the constraint option, the data properties, you can see we have the predefined values that we defined earlier. The bottom thickness for 250. Now let's see what happens if we change to 600. So see, we got the changes immediately in the model. This is the power of the parametric objects. It is a very good thing in FreeCAD. Uh, we can do parametric things here and the top thickness is let it be 200 mm so you see we got the changes if we change the height 
to 6 meters. So you see, we got the changes so quickly. Well, that's all for the today in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. This one is Nirvi Chauhan for Make Love Your Self Learning Tutorials. Goodbye.